In documents we obtained through a Freedom of Information Act request, we now know the name of the second duck hunter and his testimony describing the last time he saw Doyle. So you, the boat is uh, starting to sink? Yes, ma'am. It's filling up with water. He's, I don't even see him no more. He's drifted out past the jetties in the ocean. We have a better picture of the events that took place January 26th, the day Tyler Doyle was last seen near the North Myrtle Beach jetties. In SCDNR's boating accident report, a small craft advisory was in effect that evening, and water conditions were rough with strong currents. Is anybody injured on your boat? No, ma'am, there. I'm standing on the jetty rocks. The boat, the motor cut off on the boat and it's drifting out the ocean. He's in it and it's sinking. Phone records show Doyle called his friend and hunting buddy Christian Holden at 4.13 p.m., panicking, saying the boat engine wouldn't run and the boat was taking on water. Holden's last phone call to Doyle was at 4.48. Were you able to make contact with your friend? No, I was not. There's a boat here now looking with me. They're actually pulled up. But I cannot see him. I, have, I do not know where he was. The boat, last time I talked to him, the boat was sinking, and now I can't get him to answer. Unable to locate Doyle the day of, countless hours have been spent in a search that spans across two states. His family never giving up hope and even finding his waiters with his wallet still intact. They knew for a fact that he had three life jackets, and in the boat, there's still two. So there's one life jacket yeah, missing. Yeah. So if he was smart enough to get the waiters off, then he could have had it and I mean he could be out here floating somewhere. Tyler's wife, Lakeland, tells me she's eight months pregnant. She says her friends and family have been praying really hard that Tyler will safely make it home. And she says the community has been so supportive and that they've even raised more than $4,000 to assist with rescue efforts. Officials say two men were out on their 16-foot boat duck hunting in the North Jetty area of North Myrtle Beach when they received a distress call around 5 p.m. Thursday evening from two men who said their boat's sinking. Crews were able to rescue one man from the boat, but North Myrtle Beach Water Rescue, Horry County Fire, and the U.S. Coast Guard are still searching for 23-year-old Tyler Doyle. Horry County Fire Water Rescue says they've done multiple hour-long searches from the South Jetties up to Ocean Isle Beach, but had to end today's search. Officials say Tyler was last seen wearing a camo jacket and khaki pants. At this time, we have no up Date on the rescued man's condition or identity. Multiple people have come by with their personal boats today to help with the search efforts. And I asked the family for an interview, but they declined to speak at this time. The amount of people there today shows just the impact Tyler Doyle had on his community. They cried, laughed, and prayed on hopes that he will come home. <laughs> These hunters, duck calling, hoping that somewhere out there, Tyler Doyle is listening and he'll return home. He brought light into a room when he stepped in and he'd certainly come over and hug your neck. I want some more hugs. Doyle's family standing before a crowd of over a hundred, his eight month pregnant wife, Lakeland, brought to tears. She has her good days and bad days. We're trying to um, keep her home because she is 32 weeks pregnant now. So we're trying to keep her healthy. So we're just trying to be supportive for her and just just be there for her. Ashley Jordan, Lakeland's aunt, tells me the community support means the world. It makes our hearts happy because we know such a loving and uh, God-loving person he was. And it just makes us happy for all the support. Doyle's pastor, Jimmy Floyd, leads prayer and reads scriptures. He shares with me the kind of person Tyler was. He always, wherever I would be, he'd come across the street or from a, his chair in the restaurant to speak to me as his pastor. And while the feeling of grief is immense at the boat landing, there's another feeling, hope. Without hope, we have nothing. We got to have that little bit of hope that, um, that they're going to get the closure that they need. Now the family also announced that the Civil Air Patrol, an auxiliary of the U.S. Air Force, is joining the search for Doyle.